move on to May. We have the Shane McMahon hand thing followed by the Michael Cole shrug. That's usually how it goes. You always gotta get that Michael Cole shrug. So we can just get a Michael Cole match, that'd be ideal. Here we go, Pat Patterson versus Razor Ramon. If we go through May, like at the end of the pay-per-view, we still haven't had our first match, we'll just jump to somebody else. And Patterson gets the win over Razor Ramon. Wow. Kai and Tai taking on the Mystery Posse up next. Mean Streets get the win. No, oh, excuse me. Fatal 4-Way, Trish Stratus, The Cat, Ivory, and Sting. One, is, one of these three is not like the other. Trish, Cat, Ivory, and Sting. And you guessed it, The Cat is, because the other three are Hall of Famers. Trish gets the win. Moving on. <laughs> Why was Sting in that match, though, for real? You have three lovely ladies and Sting. The lucky ass Sting indeed. Nick Foley needs to talk to Billy Gunn. Why does Mick Foley need to talk to you there, sir? Are they going for the sock and butt connection? Like what's what's happening here? China taking on Gangrel. They could have easily put China in that fatal four-way with all the ladies and then just had Sting versus Gangrel. But whatever. Gangrel gets the win. Terry Funk, Booker T, and Bradshaw on a hardcore triple threat. And Bradshaw gets the win. Damn. Up next, Billy Gunn versus Mick Foley. We gotta cut to the Billy Gunn promo saying he doesn't know who he's fighting tonight. Little Mr. Ass is clueless. <laughs> you know the rules. Don't treat her like a woman, don't treat her like a man. You know what? You're right. You were right. I did forget the rules. So this next match will be an explosive one. Which means it is a barbed wire exploding deathmatch match. Billy Gunn gets the win by killing Mick Foley in the ring. Taker vs. Stone Cold up next. Val Venus low-key, 7 out of 10. Dude, I've always liked Val Venus. I thought he was fun, like, entertaining as hell. Was he the greatest of ever? No, of course not, but he was fun. I enjoyed watching him. That music hit. I got, like, happy that he was coming out back in the day. He's kind of an idiot nowadays, but, uh, he was awesome back then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jericho getting the win over Vince McMahon to end Raw. On to SmackDown. Still no match. Are you kidding me? D'Lo versus Edge. better show Smackdown I agree I agree for the most part I uh, love when they almost chopped his dick off and the dude who did get his dick chopped off helped him that's right it was um ah oh, I can't think of his name but yeah that dude did come by and help him out whose dick do you gotta suck to get a match I'm not sure man I am not sure Michael Cole's backstage trying to find out here we go D'Lo versus Edge starting off Smackdown Edge gets the win Rodney versus Eddie Guerrero. Good on you for keeping your throat holy. I'm trying. <laughs> Eddie gets the win over Rodney. Uh, Jacqueline versus Tori up next. Tori gets the win there. Tables match, Matt Hardy versus Grandmaster Sexay. Grandmaster getting the win. 
Kurt Angle taking on Scotty Too Hotty. Angle better win this match. I'm just saying. I want to see Scotty Too Hotty climbing ranks again. Poor Matt. Yeah, he'll get another title shot soon, though. He always seems to come back and win some matches. Oh, there we are. I need to speak with you, Sting. Wait. Well, fuck you then. We are finally going to do something. Get to fight Sting in the backstage area. Let's whoop this lucky dude's ass. As soon as the good father goes away, we can take him on. Come on. Yes, yes. Michael versus Steve, exactly. Vintage Crow. I like it. Oh no. Okay. Hit that devastating finishing maneuver that Michael Cole has, of course, the standing cross face. There we go. That kick is insane. Uh oh. One for the pin. Michael Cole is great. He has a phenomenal standing cross face. <laughs> Eventually, I need this soundboard with just fucking Michael Cole. From uh, and uh, Taz from Just Bring It commentary. Kurt Angle gets the win over Scotty Tuati. Hell yeah. Foley versus Billy Gunn. <laughs> Taz, shut up. <laughs> the commentary is so good in that game, man. Remember Huel Cole? Unfortunately, I do. Unfortunately, I do. Just standing up, interrupting women's matches, being a douchebag all around. Look at that. We fought Sting and we're still doing our job. Holding the microphone for Mick Foley. It's like, do you know who my opponent is? Well, I don't know. Oh, man. So we've had two fights, but zero matches. The rap about Jim Ross was fucked up. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all, man. But we'll ignore that King feud. Oh, yeah, for sure. I try to ignore most of uh, Michael Cole's heel run. Like, it, I don't want to hear, or I don't want to think about any of that shit anymore. It was, it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. He fully seems satisfied with the victory. How come he gets two freaking promo segments? That's bullshit. Well, he doesn't need that much airtime. We do. If the writing was better, it could be good. I don't know, man. Like, I don't like the announcers being um, super, like, in storylines and stuff like that. I kind of like them just being there. Hey, what's up, Zach? How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Good father getting the win over Shane McMahon. And your main event, Jericho versus Stone Cold. Jericho's been the main event pretty much every match so far. Or every single week. And he gets another win. Good for him. You're good. So whose season is this? This is the Michael Cole season. We're in our second month, third week, and we've yet to have a match. So it's probably going to be a short season. Yeah, nothing again. Damn. That's versus Val up first. Sooner or later, we'll get a match, right? If not... We'll swap over to somebody else and get some matches. Tess gets the win over Val Venus. As we take a look at the lovely Tori. She 
She was the one that got like injured doing tough enough and kind of ruined her career, right? Or was it somebody else? Michael Cole is stuck in catering. That is true. I'm a nice man. Yeah, uh, Nick I'm a Foley nice and man. Mr. Ass getting ready to uh <laughs> getting ready to finish their little feud that I guess they've had going on. Huh. Maybe it's a feud over who has a nicer ass between Foley and Gunn. Either way, we got Goldberg versus Jericho. Finally, the match we, are, we were all dying to see in WCW is happening here. And Goldberg gets the win over Jericho. Of course he does. Mark Henry versus Jerry Lawler up next. And sexual Chocolate gets the win over the King. Edge defends his European Championship against Shane McMahon. It's his first time defending that title. Fuck Goldberg. I kind of agree. And Shane O'Mac gets the win. We have a new Euro Champion. Next, Mick Foley versus Billy Gunn. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, he was fun to watch in WCW, but after that, it was kind of shit. And then once he fucking ruined Bret Hart's career, I was, I'm done with him. Was Shane European champion? Yes, he was. He was, uh, I want to say two times, maybe three. Yeah, he had it for a little bit. Foley being attacked by Billy Gunn and Triple H. And The Rock comes out to save him. Second time we've seen a beatdown and a save. It's awesome. Good on The Rock for trying to help out, I guess. We go Foley versus Billy Gunn. Mick Foley gets the win. Rock and Sock Connection, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So even though DX tried to jump Mick Foley beforehand, he still got the win. And he's very sad, or he seems satisfied with that victory. To the back! The pervert Dean Winkle was wild. That was crazy. That was definitely a crazier uh, storyline they had going around this time. The ladies' man, uh, Dean Malenko. They should have put him, Val Venus, the Godfather, and um, Mark Henry on a stable. You just call him like Pimps on Parade or something like that, dude. Like that would have been cool shit. Al Snow versus Bubba Ray Dudley in a hardcore match. Classic ECW style. With Al getting the win. Vince versus Sean. And DDP. Yeah, he was a little creepy bastard, wasn't he? Just uh just watching people all the time. So Sean beats Vince, and then we have Battle Royal, Kane, Kishi, Taker, and the Good Father. Let's see who walks away with this one. Kishi's out, Good Father's out, and Taker gets the win. Hell yeah. On to the Go Home Show. We got SmackDown Week 4. Shawn Michaels and Booker T is your main event, which is a dream match for sure. Holy hell, that'd be a good match. We're still not booked. So unless we're on the pay-per-view, we'll be swapping over to somebody else for the next month. Tori defending her women's title against Trish up first. If I could turn any mythical animal into a secret agent, what would I choose? Oh, geez. Um, I guess Medusa would be a good one. A mythical animal, that, that doesn't count. Um, a centaur. Yeah, a centaur. I think, that'd be a, I think that's the way to go. Chris wins the women's title. New women's champion here tonight on SmackDown. We got tag team match once again. The uh, Mean Street Posse taking 
on Kayentai. Joan says a fairy. That's a good answer. Willis had a crush on Tristratus as a kid. Dude, I'm fucking still do. That crush never went away, bro. Razor, Al Snow, and Jerry Lawler. Yeah, I'll forever have a crush or crush on Tristratus. Without question. Al Snow getting the win over Razor Ramon. Christian defends his uh, light heavyweight title against Grandmaster Sexe. We still have a crush on Tori. Another babe. Christian gets the win there. Eddie and China versus the APA. She really does, dude. She really, really does. Like, that woman has aged like the finest of wines. And it's beautiful. Like, I don't know how some of these uh, old wrestlers are just aging perfectly and other ones are aging like horribly. Just really, really bad. As far as your question, a Sphinx? Sphinx is a good answer. It's not bad. Why does the big boss man need to talk to Mick Foley? What's all this about? But now Trish still looks great. Corey still looks great. I think Lita still looks phenomenal. I think she is still very, very pretty. Goodfather gets the win in that Fatal 4-Way. Wow. He's on a roll right now, man. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny hasn't aged well, but she's also... Um, how do I word this correctly? She's also done a lot to really damage her looks with a lot of the uh, drinking and drugs and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, Sunny 2008, yeah, she looked great. She definitely looked great about 2008. She was aging very well, but then just the uh, all the extracurricular stuff, I guess you could say. Um, she went downhill fast, for sure. Because Sunny was like, her and Sable were like my original wrestling crushes. Because I'm a little bit older than you guys, so those were like the two, two hottest women on the planet for a very long time. Like my first girly poster was Sable in a bikini and it was awesome. Like just the best poster. Big boss man twisting his knee pretty bad in that matchup. Yeah, Sunny was indeed gorgeous, Murgo. You are not wrong, dude. It was, it was a little messed up. Yeah, it's, it's a hard watch, but I still watched it because yeah. Michael versus Booker T in the main event of SmackDown before the pay-per-view. Come on, Booker T. Oh, Shawn Michaels gets the win. Damn. There we go, pay-per-view time. Let's see if we have a match here at Judgment Day. Well, we're getting a title match. Tori getting a title match. Nope, no match. So who should we use for the next uh, few months? since we're not getting any matches with Michael Cole as Jeff Hardy and Lita take on the right to censor. Jeff and Lita get the win. Christian defends his light heavyweight title against Grandmaster Sexe. Is that Ivory was beautiful? Yeah, nice. We just used Christian last year, like for a full year, so... Let's try somebody else. Yeah, we did a full-blown... Uh, the whole fifth year was uh, Christian. Vince, Shane, and Stephanie are talking about something. Maybe they're taking a vote on whether or not they should... Um, get... Uh, get Michael Cole booked. Uh, Ivory, Don Marie, and Molly. Dude, solid answers. I didn't even think about uh, Don Marie. Don Marie and um, uh, Beulah. Oh my god, Beulah was gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Trish versus Tori. Oh, Beulah. Hell yeah, Myrtle. Trish getting the win over the former champion. Beulah McGillicuddy in uh, ECW. 
She was Tommy Dreamer's girlfriend. What's up, AJ? How you doing, bud? Welcome, welcome. Tonight you all see Mick Foley defeat Big Boss Man. One, two, three. McMahon's on the side of Foley and not the Boss Man? The hell? That's weird. You figured the uh, corporation guys would stick together, but I guess not. Yeah, she stabbed Raven in the back. Exactly. Doing great. Good, man. Good to hear. China and Eddie versus Road Dog and Xbox. You're in a hardcore tornado tag team matchup. Biggest heel in ECW history. Yeah, for sure. One of them, man. Stephanie McMahon versus Deborah. Oh, of course, dude. It was fun. Like I told you in your Discord, man, it was a lot of fun. Deborah got the win over Stephanie. Foley versus the big boss man up next. Yeah, I love watching Raw 2 footage. So the fact that you finally got to do it on your stream was great, man. It was a whole lot of fun. That limbo's getting out of here fast. Who is it? Oh. Is Boss Man chasing off the McMahons? You want to add Raven to your list of ECW guys you think are good? Okay, that's solid. Raven in ECW is untouchable too, man. He was fucking perfect. Absolutely perfect in ECW. Like his WCW stuff was cool and his ECW, or I'm sorry, his WWE stuff was all right, but dude... His, w, his ECW stuff is untouchable. His original flock and all that kind of stuff. Oh, perfect. Kane versus Goldberg in a tables match for the WWF title. Dream Survivor Series team. Any generations or does it have to be like current? Kane defends his title successfully. In your main event, Shane McMahon versus Jericho with Shawn Michaels as your special referee. Jericho gets the win yet again. Horton, Kawada, Michaels, and Demolition. Fucking good list. Off the top of the dome like that, that's a solid-ass list. 